And it's not about what somebody goes away and says. It's that lasting feeling from a conversation. <laughs> I've got to stand still first of all, so my feet are rooted to the ground. And did you know that there is a hidden art to getting more referrals? And I can lift the lid if you'd like me to, and I would just tell you all about this hidden art. It would probably take me 30 seconds at the most. I can go a little bit deeper for a minute or two and then you'll have something that you can build your business with for the rest of your life. So, shall we go for it? Oh, we're awake, wonderful, wonderful. So, the hidden art of getting more referrals is simply this. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. And that's a phrase I know that we all know and we've heard many, many times. But what does it really mean? What's really underneath that? And how many people pick up on what we do? Because if the way we do anything is the way that we do everything, why? Can we engineer this? Can we be more thoughtful about it? Who's picking what off and when? So, this to me means as soon as you walk through the door, people consciously or subconsciously are looking at you, they are listening to you. It's a full sensory communication moment. It's how you are when you're having teas and coffees and chatting with people. Are you a mood hoover? phrase I quite often use, you know, do you feel energised or completely deflated when you've been chatting with somebody? Is the conversation all about you because you're a little bit nervous? Is it easy just to chatter, chatter, chatter about yourself rather than being engaged with somebody else and what they're doing? People pick up on all of these things. And just to give you a quick example from a few weeks ago, and this was actually something that was happening to me. Um, I was having breakfast. And a member came up to me and said, would you like a glass of orange juice? And I said, oh, thank you. And they said, I've noticed that you always get orange juice for everybody else. So I thought I'd get you a glass of orange juice. Now, I remembered that, but it's not the fact that I've actually remembered that act and somebody saying, can I get you a glass of orange juice? is actually how that person made me feel. And this is the key. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. And it's not about what somebody goes away and says, it's that lasting feeling from a conversation. And I think in B&I, you know, we've got people who are further down the road than us, people who have been members for many, many years. And we've got newer members as well. So I always think it's, it's, it's like a trade as you can reach forward and you can reach backwards. And there's certainly lots of people I've learned lots of things from. But there's one person who absolutely epitomises this phrase of the way you do anything it is the way you do everything. Who's had a conversation with David Williams over the years? Yeah, all of us. And if you think about, and I'm not going to ask you, but if you just think about how you have left that conversation, have you felt deflated or absolutely listened to, supported and helped? Every conversation that I've certainly ever had with David has always been, how are you? How can I help you? Who are you working with at the moment? And in David's mind, I know this. He's actually going through thinking, how, I, I know this person, I like this person, I trust this person, so all I now, now need to do is help them be introduced to the people that they want to be introduced to. And, and i just like to say on behalf of everybody, a personal thank you, David, for just giving us so much over the years. 
and teaching us that hidden art of the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Anything.